All right, so this is my uh, pretty simple version of an audio analyzer for Touch Designer. And you can just see sort of a basic idea of what's going on here in the background. So I'll show you how to make this. First thing we'll do is just go ahead and delete everything. And we can turn off this distracting background. Okay. And okay. So first thing we want to do, um, since we're working with audio files here, is we'll just come over here and we'll start with chop workflow. So starting out with a audio file in, come in here and grab our favorite royalty free track. And then first thing we want to do is add an audio device out just to make sure that we can hear what we're working with. Um, so this will send it straight to your headphones or your computer speakers. And then we want to take these two channels, which are left and right on the audio file, and converge them into one. And so we'll do that by using math, going up to combine channels and average. And then we want to take this math, which is showing basically the waveform of the whole song. We want to split off the highs and split off the lows. All right, so we're going to do a audio filter for the highs and the lows. Um, we'll start out by doing the highs. So take the filter, drag that up and go ahead and come over here and do we'll do a spectrum so we can see kind of what we're working with and so and if we play the track you can see the spectrum it's sort of showing uh, values in the middle and high um, but once the low comes on you'll see that changes so for this audio filter we want to use a high pass filter which will isolate the high values and then we can sort of tear this left and right to get to a point where we feel like it's isolating only the values that we want. And to help with this process we can also add in a math operator here which will just um, give us the opportunity to multiply. So sometimes I like to multiply by 100. Seems like it just gets me to more round numbers here. Okay, so now we'll just take a analyze node, bring that in and attach that to our audio spectrum which will convert we're seeing here into just a singular number and go ahead and press play and it looks like we're getting a decent understanding from the computer of the high values in our song and so we'll bring this into a count which is basically going to function like a trigger for us um, to change things with BPM and so for the count We'll set it to loop min max. Zero to 10 is a great place to start. And then for a trigger threshold, we can work with these numbers on the analyze here, um, which we can pretty easily find by just pausing and playing arbitrarily. But what I like to do is come in and add a math operator um, just to bring this into whole numbers. So we'll do a multiply by, let's see, 100. And now we're working with uh, numbers somewhere between 5 and 20 um, at the high points. So now we can just go ahead and pause the track in and out and try to find a good point where we feel like the high frequencies are uh, being accentuated. So 15 might be a good place to start and if we set that, press play, looks like that's a little bit too sensitive so we'll bring that down to 10 or sorry bring that up to 20 So as you can see there, it's actually going with the hi-hat beat. Um, and so that is pretty much ready to go. Just turn that into a uh, usable value there by pressing the star on the corner. And then come down here, and we can either rem remake the whole thing, or we can just select all these, copy-paste, and come down here to our audio filter, change this to low-pass, and see how we kind of did there. And so as you can tell, maybe our low-pass filter isn't working perfectly. That's because our cutoff is emphasizing high notes. So come down and fix that up a little bit. And we'll probably want to use this math to get to a whole number here again. So multiply, let's go 10,000. Looks like that is way too high for us. So even that might be high. So now we'll press play. And just making an arbitrary guess here, it looks like maybe 10 is a good threshold. 
All right, so we're catching some of those beats um, and a couple of random ones as well. But I'll bring that to eight just to make sure we're getting everything and perfectly on beat there. Okay, so press the star on the corner there, and now these values are ready to use. So if we wanted to make the UV weight of this displace here um, reactive to our base, then we can go ahead and just drag this into the UV weight, do a chop reference. And now you can see that that's tiling it, but what we can also do is click plus here and take this number and go over 10 and that will get us a different effect. But as you can tell, the reference still stays. And another thing we can do is we can take our highs and we can plug them into this noise function um, as our amplitude would work. So we'll try that. We'll just take this value, plug it into the amplitude. And I encourage experimentation at this point in the project. So kind of get an interesting effect here when it's all said and done with the bass changing um, our sort of layout and then the hi-hats changing the noise pattern. So that's a pretty simple way of making an audio analyzer. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you on it. Um, and thank you for watching and good luck. And um, if you are interested in seeing what this can kind of look like once you get uh, into using it for quite a while longer, um, you can see this is pretty much the same exact setup up here. And it's basically, it's a basic uh, setup uh, for our visual part too. But just using these values to plug in, um, we can get to something that can create a pretty interesting effect. All right, so if you're interested in seeing a tutorial for uh, this effect here, uh, definitely leave a comment about that. And um, thanks again for watching.